under 50 watts of light, this tomato plant has only been in this container for 14 days. As a matter of fact, this is a transplant from a rooting that I took from a mother plant that is currently 244 days old. The advantage of using a larger clone is that you get a much faster maturity date. As a matter of fact, this was growing under a 10 watt light and it had produced a couple green tomatoes. This is a 14 gallon container and if you remember I did use a clone prior to this plant and the same container. It did quite well. I wanted to compare it to a more mature clone cutting to see if there's any advantage to taking the cuttings and growing them for an extended period of time under a low watt light so that they have a faster maturity date. Now, if you look at the roots on this plant, you can see that this beautiful white branching formation. And let's get those a little bit closer to the camera without dripping too much water. There you go. So these are passive non-circulating hydroponic roots. Originally the uh, roots that were in the active or circulating hydroponic system were all coiled inside this net cup and then I packed grow media around those and so there were no roots at all that were visible coming through the net cup. So everything that you see here has formed since the plant has been put into the plastic drum that I'm growing it in. I'll go ahead and turn that around a little bit. And notice how the uh, roots come out the sides of the net cup more than the bottom of the net cup. And that is because the roots tend to favor the zone that is in the first couple inches of water that has dissolved oxygen from the surface of the drum. Now, the plant itself, I'll turn it a little bit. You can see it has ripe tomatoes. This is just 14 days since being moved over so the uh, tomatoes are unaffected that were on the plant that were green they have continued to mature as a matter of fact uh, the plant also has green tomatoes that are forming we'll try to get a picture of those in there there's probably more on this side so there so these uh, green tomatoes that you're seeing they are all new and so I will end up with uh, additional ripe tomatoes soon as well as you could tell that the blossoms are starting to form and those are all brand new that have happened within the past uh, 14 days as well. So the plant has not even skipped a beat in terms of being able to mature and start to grow. The nutrient level is only a couple inches or so below the top rim of the 14 gallon container. Now, this is a uh, crack key fill once and forget type setup. The way that this works is it has all the nutrient and water that it needs to grow completely and you don't have to perform any uh, maintenance, any feeding, any watering. Uh, the advantage of this is it's very useful for people who have a busy schedule who can perhaps set up one of these on their patio or in a house with a grow light, not have to do any maintenance, just come back periodically, pick ripe tomatoes and enjoy the fruits of those. It's very useful for uh, setting up grows maybe on the porch of an elderly person who can no longer garden because of mobility issues. And all they'd have to do is to uh, pick the uh, ripe fruits bring those indoors to enjoy and eat and you wouldn't have to worry about them watering or feeding plants and it's also another uh, great method if you're growing in uh, far off uh, type environments say and you know hypothetically if you're in the middle of a forest and you don't have electricity to use uh, active hydroponic systems you could set up something like this 
literally go off for weeks at a time, come back and find the plant has matured and you'll be able to uh, harvest ripe tomatoes in the middle of a forest even, you know, if you have a sunny enough spot. And here are the two mother plants that I used. Uh, to take the cutting from. These two mother plants, as mentioned, are 244 days old. Plants growing indoors in hydroponics have favorable growing conditions and oftentimes will grow much, much longer than they do outside. Now, these particular tomato plants are a plant from Arrow Garden and they send out uh, seed kits if you go to their website. The variety is a Golden Harvest Microdorf tomato plant. And these are the units that I used uh, to grow the cuttings from the tomato plant. I would cut the branches off of the mother plant and then introduce those uh, into these recirculating air garden sprout units that I'm using to do the cloning. As a matter of fact, uh, taking the cloning branches off of the mother plant, I would stick those into these units and as mentioned, the entire unit is about a 10 watt unit. It has a very small pump that circulates the water inside. This particular uh, deck has 15 sites and I could get 15 small cuttings and root those in each of those and put those into a container, you know, very similarly to what I did in the video where I used the smaller clone cutting. Now, the container that is uh, to the side, let's see if we can get the camera turned. You'll notice it only has three holes. I used this particular top because when I took the clone cutting, I wanted to mature it to a greater age. So on this uh, particular uh, deck, and these are interchangeable, I actually had sprouted uh, the clone cuttings and moved those into the container that you saw earlier, the 14 gallon container. But on this one, as mentioned, I grew the clone cutting to a size that was uh, about that wide and that tall and it had blossoms and it had green tomatoes on it. And when it came time to move it, I just pulled it from here and I put it into a net cup and put it into that crack key drum. So based on the responsiveness of the uh, plant when transferred into the crack key non-circulating drum, I'm finding out that the comparison currently favors the older plant. And for future harvest and continual uh, harvest within my small grows, I am favoring taking cuttings from the mother plant, growing those to an older age before they're introduced to the larger uh, container. Even though this particular light is 50 watts and you might suspect that a smaller vegetative clone more quickly introduced to the stronger light would perform better. I'm finding that with the microdorf tomato plants, keeping those longer under the low wattage 10 watt light before moving to the 50 watt light has provided me with a much faster harvest and there's going to be better production, it looks like, of tomatoes over the course of that plant's life with the 14 gallons of nutrients compared to the smaller vegetative clone that was used in the earlier experiment. As a grow method, the fill once and forget type of cracky hydroponics is a very nice method for beginners. As long as you get a experience level with maybe uh, lettuce, you'll soon find that you could master growing other plants with a sufficient sized container. The number of blooms on this tomato plant just continues to increase daily. And there are many other tomatoes on this particular plant. As mentioned, the number of green tomatoes is continuing to um, multiply on a daily basis. And 
this plant will soon be very productive. The light that I'm using is from Vivosun, and even though it is a 100 watt LED grow light, it has a dimmer knob on the side that allows me to adjust the wattage down to the 50 watts that I'm using. My light is set just a little over a foot above the plant. I can see that it is doing quite well. Initially, when I transferred the plant in, it was healthy and green, but quickly uh, struggled turning yellow, as you can see from this picture, where the plant has uh, multiple leaves that are struggling in part because of the transition to the stronger LED light, but also in part because the root system had not transitioned over to the passive form of hydroponics and the roots needed to develop where they could more quickly optimize the passive hydroponics system.